Hello beautiful people, welcome to AM Yoga Moves. My name is Anne-Marie and this is going to be a fun class. So let's get started. So let's, stop, uh, so let's start with uh, grabbing a block for those of you that have a block. If you don't, uh, not a problem. You can just go right ahead and lie on your back. For those that do have a block, I'd like you to place the base of your scapula on the block and then just roll forward. However, the edge of the block, the top edge of the block should be at the same height as the end of your shoulders. And from here, you can just relax your head back and grab your elbows. So what we're doing here was, was just gently, um, passively opening the shoulder and uh, with your feet. So you can just keep your knees bent. If you'd like, you can also extend the legs. And for those of you who would like to also work on your hips, take advantage of this position to work on your hips, you can just place the plants of your feet together and then let your knees open from side to side. So you can start with your eyes closed and just start establishing a nice regular rhythm of breath through your nose. Also notice if maybe one of your nostril is blocked should be able to breathe through both of your nostrils. So one of the principles of yoga is satya. Satya means truth. And so we always want to be truthful well, with others, but also be true with ourselves. So I'd like to suggest this theme for today's class, because in reality, you know, we want to be approaching the, the class um, by being truthful in the sense that, you know, are we doing enough or are we doing too much maybe? So you really want to have your attention in the body and respecting the sensations there. You want to do the posture the right way. It doesn't matter where you do, whether you do 1% or 99% of the posture in terms of depth. You want to do it 100% the right way. And that's how you're going to get all of the benefits. And that's also how your body is going to develop um, in the right way and you're going to avoid injuries. So be true and be gentle. Okay. So let's switch out the elbows. For those of you that have really tight shoulders or, you know, the upper spine, which is the case for myself. I mean, I've been working on this area of my body and the upper spine is, is really the, the area that is the longest and the hardest to gain flexibility. Well, this posture is excellent for you. So just let your elbows relax back, let the gravity do its work and help you out here. And again, as you inhale, fill in the lungs. You can take a small pause at the top and then exhale. And as you exhale, let all the tensions flow away and use the breath to really be in this moment and take care of you. <clears throat> Fantastic. Okay, so let's release the elbows. If you want, you can use your hands to lift the knees back up for those that were also opening the hips. And you can also use your hands to gently lift up your head. You can turn to your side, remove the block. And let's move on to all fours. 
I'm just going to tie my hair again <laughs> before we move along. So on all fours, we're just going to do another little shoulder stretch before we move into the practice today. Taking care of our shoulders, so make sure your hips are directly above your knees. And from here, just let the chest press into the floor. You can bring your forehead on the floor. If you'd like, you can place a block as well, just underneath your chest. If you're very flexible, you can also place the chin onto the mat and look forward. So the idea here, let's bring the attention to our shoulder blades. So, and this is, this is also true for when we're in downward facing dog. We want to be, you know, removing the shoulder blades, the scapula away from one another. So you're basically turning your inner armpit towards your face. And I know I repeat this a lot, but it, you know, it seems obvious, but it's not that it takes a while to sort of push and, 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 and work with the, the shoulder in that area, in that direction, sorry. So you're just letting your chest melt into the ground. You don't want to have any pinching sensation in your shoulders here. So if that's the case, just back off a little bit. Perfect. And from here, you can just walk the hands back onto all fours. Let's do a couple of breaths in cat and cow. So as you exhale, just bring the chin towards your chest, belly button towards the spine, tip your tailbone towards the floor, round the back. And as you inhale, hips up, let the belly relax, shoulders up and back, and look towards the sky, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, let's repeat. Round the upper back, navel towards the spine, tailbone towards the mat. Inhale. Roll the shoulders up and back, tailbone up, belly towards the mat. Look up, shoulders away from the ears. One last time, exhale. Chin to the chest, navel to the spine, tailbone to the floor. Inhale, look up, roll the shoulders back, tailbone up, shoulders away from the ears. And as you exhale, come back into neutral. Okay. <clears throat> Now let's tuck the toes, inhale, lift just the knees up, okay? Belly button towards the spine. You can tuck your tailbone in towards the floor. And let's just stay in this semi push-up position for a few seconds here. So I don't want you to be sagging your neck and your, your chest like this towards the mat. I want you to be pushing upwards, shoulder blades away from one another, chin towards the chest, Great, make sure that your hands are a little bit wider than your shoulders, that your index or your forefingers are parallel. And you're making a perfect box, perfect square with your body. Now as you inhale, I want you to just move back and try to bring your chest against your thighs. So your spine is lengthening here, bringing the scapulas away from one another keeping the knees bent. Once you feel like your spine is nice and long, then you can start extending the legs into your first downward facing dog. So straight back, first priority. Shoulder blades away from one another, distributing the weight equally into all the fingers, not just the base of the wrist. You're pointing your tailbone towards the sky as you're sucking in your belly, always. Thighs contracted, let your heels draw towards the floor. Very good. Inhale, look front, and just start walking your feet one by one to the front of your mat, feet together. Inhale, straight spine, flat back. Exhale, hands beside the feet, and just bring your forehead towards your shins. 
inhale lift from the chest straight back upward salute palms together look towards your thumbs exhale brings the hands down in namaskar and the arms to your side first sun salutation inhale stretch the arms sideways and up look up palms together exhale stretch your arms to each side go down with a straight back belly button towards the spine hands beside the feet forehead towards the shins inhale flat back shoulders up exhale walk or jump back into plank inhale here exhale go down into chaturanga i'm just going to move the block here so notice in chaturanga my arms are in a 90 degree position inhale push forward upward facing dog exhale tuck the toes downward facing dog inhale here stretch the spine exhale draw the heels back inhale look forward walk or jump between the hands flat back shoulders up exhale hands down forehead towards the shins inhale upward salute spine straight hands towards the sky palms together exhale bring the hands down in namaskar and then to each side of your body let's repeat inhale stretch the arms up palms up look up you can even do a slight back bend if that feels good exhale stretch the arms chest leading the movement all the way down hands beside the feet forehead to the shins inhale flat back exhale palms down jump back into plank inhale here exhale go down into chaturanga inhale push the toes tops of the feet on the mat urva mukha make sure your wrists are right below your shoulders and that your shoulders are rolled back exhale tuck the toes downward facing dog very good take one nice inhale here lengthening the spine belly button towards the spine stomach stomach sucked in and as you exhale press into the hands and into the heels inhale look forward bend the knees jump between the hands flat back shoulders up exhale hands on the ground beside the feet forehead towards the shin inhale stretch up chest leading the movement all the way up to upward salute palms together exhale hands down going through namaskar and then on the side of your body one last time inhale stretch the arms up palms together look up slight back bend if that's possible exhale stretch the arms to each side all the way down flat back hands on the mat forehead to the shins inhale flat back exhale plant the hands on each side of the feet jump back into plank inhale here exhale chaturanga inhale push forward urdhva mukha exhale downward facing dog inhale lift the right leg up bend the knee open the hip so you're stacking the right hip on top of the left hip keep the left foot parallel to the long edge of your mat press both hands equally onto the mat shoulders away from the ears you want to feel the stretch in the right side of your chest of your belly the whole right side of your torso really nice stretch happening here as you inhale go back into three-legged downward dog and exhale bring the right foot down back into downward facing dog and as you inhale now lift the left leg up stretch it back and up bend the knee and then open the hips on the other side so again we're opening the hips not the shoulders so keep your shoulders parallel to the mat keep your right foot parallel to the long edge of your mat and now you want to feel a nice stretch in the left side of your upper body breathing through the nose 
very important. Now as you inhale, stretch the left leg back up to three-legged downward dog. Exhale, bring the left foot down. Very good. So from here, we're going to alternate between downward facing dog and chaturanga. So it's going to be a little bit of a workout for your arms. <laughs> so do what you can. If you need to take a break, go on your knees during the process. It's not a problem at all. Okay. So you can always do this on your knees. So I guess we'll do the first one transitioning through the knees. So exhale. As you inhale, come forward through to push-up position. Like I said, you can bring the knees on the mat or keep the legs up and then go straight to Chaturanga, creating that nice 90 degree angle. And as you exhale, push up and back into downward facing dog. Okay, let's do it again. Inhale directly to Chaturanga. Exhale, push up back into downward facing dog. Let's do it three more times, five in total. So inhale, chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, chaturanga, exhale, push up, downward facing dog. One last time, inhale, chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Very good. <laughs> Now inhale, look forward between the hands. You can bend the knees and jump between the hands. Do a flat back. Exhale, hands beside the feet, forehead to the shins. Inhale, chest up. Upward salute, palms together, up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the hands down in Namaskara. And the arms to the side. Very good. So now I'm going to show you another type of sun salutation where we're going to be integrating uh, warrior one. So with your feet still together, arms to your side, shoulders back, make sure that you're keeping those hips in a slight forward tilt. Exhale the air through, the air through your nose. As you inhale, bend the knees, brush the forefingers on the mat. Inhale into a chair, Utkatasan. Exhale, forward bend, hands on each side of the feet, forehead to the shins. Inhale, flat back, shoulders up. Exhale, plant the hands, go back into plank. Inhale here, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, push forward and up into an upward facing dog. Legs fully extended, only the tops of the feet on the mat here. Exhale, go back into downward facing dog. Now pivot your left heel to the center of the mat. And as you inhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands. As you exhale, make sure you're aligning your hip with your knee. And as you inhale, now bring your arms up. So now we're in a warrior one. So let's look at this posture a little bit more closely. Your back leg is fully extended and you're pressing the outer edge of your left foot onto the mat and your back foot should be in about in a 45 degree angle. If that's very difficult for you, just open. You can open into a 90 degree angle, but try to keep it less than that. Now you're pushing here your hips so that both hips are as much as possible facing the forward wall. Belly in. Forward leg, thigh parallel to the floor. And your arms and your whole, tor your whole torso is facing front. Okay, so again, armpits facing towards the face, shoulders down, arms up. And if you can here, try to look up. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hands forward between the front foot, right foot back into plank. Inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, shoulders back. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Pivot the right heel towards your inside of your mat. And as you inhale, bring the left foot forward between the hands. As you exhale, bring that left hip in to align it with your knee. And on your next inhale, lift the arms up. So we're in warrior one in the other side. Again, your back right heel is pressing into the mat. 
inner arch of the foot lifting, leg completely straight, and you're pushing your right hip forward to bring both of those hips as parallel as possible to the front wall. Navel towards your spine, chest up, right thigh parallel to the floor. So drive those hips down, make sure your knee doesn't go anywhere further than your ankle, and bring your arms up to the sky. Okay, now inhale, stretch up. And as you exhale, hands forward, bring the left foot back into plank. Inhale here, exhale chaturanga. Inhale, push forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. <clears throat> Super, from here, Inhale, extend the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hips again. So you can stay here, or if you'd like, we can do what we call flipping your dog. So you can just try bringing your right foot as high as possible on the mat, and then open the chest towards the sky. You're basically looking towards your right hand, Palm of the hand facing the mat. So doing a back bend here. Breathing nicely through the nose. One last inhale. As you exhale, bring the right hand back on the mat. Back into upward facing dog. Uh, sorry, three-legged downward dog. And as you exhale, bring the right foot down on the mat. Let's do the other side. Inhale. Lift the left leg up, bend the knee, open the hips. If you stayed in this position on the other side, I suggest you just do the same this time around. And if you explored the reversed dog, <laughs> flipping your dog, you can just bring your foot, left foot as high as possible on the mat. And again, you're opening your chest towards the ceiling, stretching that left arm out, palm towards the floor, Breathe through the nose. On your next inhale, bring the left hand back on the mat, up into three-legged downward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very good. Inhale, bend the knees, look front. Jump between the hands, flat back. Exhale, hands on the mat, forehead to the knees. Inhale. Bend the knees, brush the forefingers on the mat, go up into a chair, Utkatasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Stand up, bring the hands in Namaskar, and then to the sides of your body. Okay, let's repeat that. Exhale, inhale, bend the knees, brush the forefingers on the mat, go up into Utkatasana. Exhale, forward bend. Hands on each side of the feet, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back, shoulder blades together. Exhale, hands down, jump back to plank. Inhale here, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, push forward and up, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll on toes, downward facing dog. Bring the left heel inside of the mat. Inhale, right foot front. Exhale, Bring the right hip in, inhale, lift the upper body with the arms together. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, hands down, right foot back. Inhale here, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Pivot your right heel in the inside of your mat, inhale, bring the left foot front exhale bring the left hip in inhale arms body and upper body upward inhale stretch up look up exhale hands forward on the mat left foot back into plank inhale here exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog <clears throat> Inhale, lift the left leg up, bend the knee, 
open the hip. Stay here or flip your dog by bringing your right foot as high as possible on the floor. Swing the upper, the right arm out front, palm facing the mat. Inhale here, bringing the right hand back into push up. Right leg up, three legged downward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, stay here, or flip your dog. Left knee, left foot as high up on the floor as possible, left arm stretching out, palm facing the floor. Inhale here, chest up, and then bring the left hand back on the mat, three-legged downward dog, exhale, downward facing dog. <clears throat> Inhale here through the nose, and you can exhale through the mouth, that feels good. <sighs> Release. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees, and jump between the hands. Flat back, shoulders up. Exhale, hands on each side of the feet, forehead to the shins. Inhale, bend the knees, brush the tips of the fingers on the mat, go up into chair, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands and namaskar, and arms to your side. Very good. <laughs> so let's take a little break here. You can close your eyes, catch your breath, observe the effects of these sun salutations we just did. So from here, we're going to move into a few static postures, more Hatha style. So <clears throat> keeping your feet together at the front of the mat, bring your hands in Namaskar. Inhale, stretch up. And as you exhale, step the right foot to the right four feet. Pivot the left toes in. Make sure your heels are in one line and that you're pivoting those hips forward as much as possible. Now turn the right toes to your right. Keep both legs extended. Inhale, bring the arms parallel to the mat. So first posture, Utita Trikonasan, tri classic triangle. Inhale, stretch the spine up. And as you exhale, stretch the upper body to the right. And once you can't stretch any longer, pivot the, left, the right arm down, left arm up. You're pushing the hips forward opening the chest, shoulders away from the ears, arms perfectly perpendicular to the floor, chin one day directly aligned with your left shoulder, both legs completely extended, and lifting both of the arches of each feet upward. One last inhale, stretch up, and as you exhale, come back to standing, arms parallel, pivot the right, Toes in, left toes out, other side. Make sure your hips are parallel. Inhale, stretch the spine up. And as you exhale, now stretch the upper body towards the left. Once you can't stretch anymore, just pivot the arms. Right arm up this time. Shoulders away from the ears. Arms stretching perfectly perpendicular to the floor. Pushing those hips forward. Lifting the left hip up, pressing the right hip down, both legs extended, contracting the thighs, lifting the arches of the feet, chin aligned with your right shoulder one day. Inhale here, stretch up one last time to the left. And as you exhale, come all the way up. Hands on the hips, pivot 90 degrees to your right. So for this twisting position, my block is on the other side. Let's bring one block over here. You might need your block, <clears throat> so just keep it handy. So again, between the feet, your back foot should be about 45 degree angle, and you should be able to draw an imaginary line between both of your heels. Otherwise, if you're crossing your heels, you're going to have a lot of, you're going to have a hard time ba balancing, basically. Keep both of your hips facing the front. Right hand on your right hip. Inhale, lift the left arm up, look up. And as you exhale, you wanna bend from the hips. Like in the sun salutations and you're stretching, arm with the ear, forward, forward, forward. 
and I want you to try to see if you can place your left hand on the outside of your right foot. Like I said, if you need a block, you can use it. There's three levels, two and then three. So you can also do that. Not a problem. Hips parallel. So like I said, left hand on the outer right foot. And here you can start by placing your hand on your sacrum just to see what's happening with your hips. So you're trying to push that right hip inward. Both thighs contracted, arches of the feet lifted. You can work on your balance by shifting your gaze towards the right. And if this still feels okay, you can start exploring, bringing your right hand up and maybe looking towards the ceiling one day. And just here, breathe through the nose. Inhale, stretch up one last time, torso out. And as you exhale, bring the right hand on the right hip and come back, arm and head together. Hands on the hips. Let's pivot 180 degrees to the other side. Back foot, 45 degree ankle. Arches of feet lifted. Thighs contracted. Hips parallel. Bring your left hand on your left hip. Inhale, stretch the right arm up. You can always follow your gaze, eh? follow your, your hand with your gaze. And as you exhale, stretch forward. As if somebody's pulling you forward, okay? Keeping the back straight. And this time, right hand on the outside of the left foot. You always wanna respect your weak side, okay? So if you use a block on the other side, use it also on this side. You're pushing your left hip in this time. The weight distributed equally in both of your feet. And again, we wanna start working on our balance by shifting our gaze and then working towards bringing our left arm up. And as you inhale here, you're stretching the spine out. And as you're exhaling, you're twisting. One last inhale, stretch out. And as you exhale, you can bring the left hand on the hip and come back up arm and head together very good okay let's pivot again to your right and let's move into another variation of the triangle this time it's called parshva konasan so we're going to be turning your right toes to the right again but this time you need a little bit of a wider stance between your feet okay because we're going to be bending the right knee bring your arms parallel to the floor shoulders down inhale stretch the upper body up and as you exhale, bend that right knee. Okay, so the right thigh here is sort of twisting outward and so is the left thigh. So we're really like opening the hips as if two opposite forces were driving your hips outward. Inhale here. As you exhale, I want you to bring your right hand on the outside of your right foot. Please use your block again if you need it. Not a problem. It can be the tips of your fingers as well, or if not, your palm. That's the, what we're aiming for. Now push that right hip in and lift the left arm up. So we're really opening the chest here. Look to your left. Look towards your left thumb and try to align your chin with your left shoulder. Inhale, stretch up. And as you exhale, let's come back into Parjvakonasana, keeping the right knee bent. And as you exhale, you can now extend the right leg, pivot the right toes in, pivot the left toes out. Excellent. And let's do the other side. So inhale, stretch the upper body upwards. And as you exhale, bending the left knee. Make sure that your knee stays aligned, okay, with your ankle. Opening those hips. Right leg completely extended. You want to have your foot at about 90 degree angle or even turning your toes inward a little bit. Arms parallel to the floor. Inhale, stretch up. As you exhale, left hand on the outside of your left foot. And bring the right arm up. Opening the torso. I'm pushing the right hip inward, or the left hip, sorry, inward to the front. 
shoulders relaxed, trying to align my chin with my right shoulder, looking towards my right thumb, breathing through the nose. Inhale, stretch up, open the chest. And as you exhale, come back to Parjvakonasana. And then you can just extend the left leg. Okay? Very good. Let's pivot 90 degrees to the right. And let's work this into a twist. Just wanted to make sure that my mic was still turned on. <laughs> so let's bring the left knee onto the mat. Keep the left toes tucked in the back of your mat. And the front leg, make sure there's a straight line here between your knee and your ankle. Bring your torso upwards. You just inhale, bring the arms up. As you exhale, you can bring them into Namaskara. And then you can just twist. So twist to bring your left shoulder on the outside of your knee. That's the ideal. If not your tricep, you do what you can really. And you're imagining that you're twisting from your navel. Okay? So it's not just your shoulders that are twisting. So you can stay in this position here. Or if you want to explore a little bit, you can see if you can try pushing your left knee off of the mat. If you've managed to lift your knee off of the mat, contract those inner thigh muscles like a scissor movement. This will definitely help with the stability. If this is still comfortable, you can also try to bring your left hand on the outside of your right foot and then lift your right arm to the side, to the sky, and you can look up. A little extra challenge for your balance. Pushing through that left heel. Inhale, stretch up. And as you exhale, bring the hands down. You can come out in whatever position feels comfortable for you. Let's just switch it out. So this time, right knee on the mat. Keep the right toes tucked in. Make sure your left knee doesn't go over or beyond your left heel. Inhale, lift both arms up. Exhale, hands in Namaskara. And then bring as much as possible your right shoulder on the outside of your left knee. And again, we're twisting here from the navel, from the belly button. Mm -hmm. So if you stay like this in the other, on the other side, Stay here. You always want to do the same thing on both sides, respecting your weaker side, okay? But if you tried to lift your leg, you can also try lifting your right knee this time around off of the mat, squeezing those inner thigh muscles, the adductors. And then you can just try bringing your right hand on the outside of your left foot and lifting the left arm up, shoulders away from the ears, Breathe through the nose. Inhale, stretch up. And as you exhale, come down and just pivot 90 degrees to your left. Stay in that forward bend. Make sure your heels are in one line. So this is Prasarita Padottanasana. <laughs> I'm giving you all of the Sanskrit word, words for these postures. So we're basically working our way into a forward bend. If you are here, I'm going to bring my block here just to show you what all the options. This may be difficult for you to keep your legs extended. You may have your back rounded. So I prefer that you use a block, okay? And that you just work on first extending those legs. Contracting the thighs, lifting the inner arches of the feet, making sure that your hips are directly above your ankles so you're pressing a little bit more into the forward part of your foot okay for those of you that can easily keep the legs extended you can just start bringing your hands below your shoulders and working your way towards letting the upper body your torso you're making your way towards bringing the crown of your head basically on the mat okay Shoulders away from the ears. And just let your head relax. You just let your shoulders relax. And feel the stretch in the back legs.
Very good. Now inhale. Come back into a flat back. Bring your left hand in the center, okay, just below your, your two shoulders, basically. And as you inhale, twist to the right. Look up towards your right thumb. Try to keep and think about your hips so that you're not really doing what I was doing a second ago. You want to keep your hips as parallel to the floor as possible. Exhale, bring the right hand down on the mat where the left hand was. And as you, on your next inhale, left arm up. Shoulders away from the ears. Belly in, looking up towards the ceiling. Inhale, stretch up one last time. Exhale, bring the left hand down. You can just pivot to the left towards the front of your mat. Bring your right foot up next to the left foot. And then you can just grab your shoulders for a second, or your elbows, sorry, not your shoulders into a forward bend. If keeping your feet together is too difficult, just keep them hip width, it's not a problem. And if you wanna take it easy, you can also always just bend the knees. Very good. Now let go of your hands, contract your abs, and let's come all the way up on an inhale, unraveling the spine one vertebra at a time. Okay, so at the front of your mat, feet together. We're gonna to be working on a side crow, so it's balancing postures. It's gonna involve a bit of flexibility. The twisting that we've done up until now is going to be very useful. It's warmed us up for what's coming next. And we're going to be also working a little bit of, of our strength and balance together. So let's, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so standing up with your feet together, exhale. And as you inhale, bend the knees, brush the fingers onto the mat, come up into a chair, Utkatasana. Exhale, bring the hands and namaskar on the side of your chest. And from here, I want you to go into a twisting again. So bring your left shoulder or your left tricep, if your shoulder isn't accessible, into a twist here, into a spine twist. Make sure that both of your knees are parallel, so you might want to be pushing your left knee backwards a little bit. And from here, from this posture, let's see if you can just gently squat down a little bit more. If your heels are popping off of the mat, that's not a problem. And bring your hands to your right, about the distance of your <coughs> shoulders. Okay, now from here, what you want to do is just change or shift your weight onto your hands, okay, gently, like so. So we're basically balancing and twisting. If this is a comfortable posture for you, then you can start exploring, extending the legs. Okay, so you can just do this for a little bit. If you need to take a break and do it again, it's not a problem. But basically to change the view is what we want to do is you wanna have your hands parallel, like so. Okay, so when you're squatting down when you're shifting your weight. Okay, your, my, my elbow, right elbow is not touching as you notice and I'm just sort of shifting my balance onto my hands like so. Okay, <laughs> so once that's done, you can just come back into your squatting position. Okay, and as you inhale, make your way back up into a chair. And exhale back into Tadasana. Okay, so standing, shift the weight into your left leg. Your left leg is strong like a lamppost, thigh contractor. You're not in a hyper extension, okay? You don't want to be relaxing onto your articulation, but you really want to have that thigh contracted so that your leg is completely straight. 
and gently start lifting your um, right knee upward. And if you are able to just give yourself a little hug, bringing the right knee towards the chest, okay? From here, with your left hand, you can try grabbing the outside of your right foot. If you can't, just grab the outside of your right knee. It's not a problem. And from here, try to stretch your right hand all the way back and gently see if you can extend the right leg forward, okay? So again, we're moving into another type of twist, but standing this time around. So your gaze can stay forward. However, if you feel like you're able to, you can explore shifting the gaze to your right. Okay, stay here for three, two, one. Gently come out, bring the right foot on the mat. Very good. Okay, so let's do the other side. Exhale, feet together. Inhale, bend the knees, brush the tips of the fingers on the mat, come into a chair, Utkatasan. Exhale, bring the hands in Namaskar. And this time around, right tricep on the outside of the left knee. And again, you wanna push this time around your right knee back to keep both of your knees parallel. From this posture, you can explore to see if your left, your right hand can make its way onto the mat. And you can squat down lower. It's not a problem even if your hips, your heels come off of the ground. So this time around, your left hand is, well, your hands are parallel to your shoulders, basically. And from here, you want to start working on just shifting the balance to your hands as you lift the feet up. You can stay in this position or you can start exploring extending the legs. And gently, as elegantly as possible, you want to just come out of that, okay? Very good. <laughs> okay, now you can just bring your feet together. Inhale, come back into chair. Exhale, Tadasana, standing position. And let's do the standing twist on the other side. So anchor your right leg and your left, your right foot onto the mat and start by lifting your left knee up, grabbing your shin, bringing your knee in towards your chest. And if you grab your, the outside of the knee on the other side, do the same here. And if you're able to, you can just explore seeing if you can grab your foot. And from here, Start extending your left arm back and your right and your left. I'm confusing the right and the left. So basically the left arm is back, left leg front into this twist. Very good. Key to these postures is concentration. Okay, and gently come out of it. Left foot on the mat, super. Let's spread the feet, the distance of your mat, toes a little bit out to the sides. Ideally you wanna, we're gonna go into a yogi squat, okay? Ideally you wanna have your feet parallel, but my anatomy does not allow me to do that. <laughs> so just spread the feet out, it's not a problem. Inhale, hands in namaskar. Exhale, keep the back straight, heels on the mat. Come all the way down, as low as possible. You can bring the triceps inside of the knees. Hands in prayer. Just stay here for a few seconds. If you need to close the eyes, you can always do that. And from here, gently, just try to come into a seating position <laughs> without making too much noise and extend the legs. Super. Okay, so keep your left leg extended. Bend your right knee 
And uh, well, actually, I'm going to turn so that you can see what I'm what's happening here. So bend the right knee and then just try to see if you can open your knee, your knees apart to make an L, an L shaped. Okay. If this is too intense, you can always, always, always sit on a block. Okay. So the idea is that you want to be comfortable. This next posture, we're going to be holding it up about for a minute or so. So it's important that you're comfortable. So you should be feeling the stretch in your inner right groin, especially. And I don't want you to be feeling any sharp pain in your inner right knee. If that's the case, maybe just keep both of your legs spread out. Okay. So always operate with caution, especially with your knees. It's all right. It's all right to feel some compression and some discomfort, uh, but never any sharp pain or tingling sex sensation or nothing like that. Okay. So from here, I just want you to see if you can bend forward, bend your upper body forward. So you may not be able to go very far and that's not a problem at all. The idea is to breathe. To, to feel and to imagine that you're sending the breath in that area that's very tight. So we're just working center first of all. Just a few more seconds here. And from here, I want you to see if you can just roll over to your side. So let your left arm extend out. If you can twist that hand and grab that, the foot so that your index finger is down and your pinky, pinky finger is up, super. If not, don't worry, just keep your hand down wherever it is. I want you to inhale, lift your right arm up and bring it out as far as possible. Okay, so we're opening the chest. And this side twist, so you might feel an intense stretch in the back left leg. Maybe not so much now on your right knee. You want to really feel like you're opening up that chest towards the ceiling, breathing into the right ribs. Very good. So to come out of the posture, just roll inward and then walk your hands back. Okay. Gently bring your right knee forward and then extend the right leg. And let's do the other side. You might notice that there's a huge difference from one side to the next. Personally, this side for me is, is easier. Okay. And that's one of the reasons why we do yoga is to recuperate to balance out the body. Okay. So make sure that your foot is directly in the extension of your, of your left lower leg, right leg extended, and then gently start walking your hands forward directly in the center of the V shape that you've just created. Make sure your tongue is not sticking to your palate, that you're not holding any unnecessary tension in your mouth and your jaw. We tend to forget <laughs> to relax our faces. This is not yoga for the face, it's yoga for the body. So you want to have like a poker face. You want to be relaxed. 
relaxed in the frown, in the forehead, sorry, in, in the forehead relaxed, eyes relaxed, jaw relaxed, throat relaxed. And notice when you conscientiously do that, wow, you know, it's like even relaxing your face kind of results in, oh, my shoulders are relaxing now. And that sort of relax allows everything else to relax, okay? And I guess we can make a parallel with that as like tension in the mind translates into tension in the body, okay? So by doing the postures and by doing the, the yoga diligently, we sort of work with the breath to bring the attention more in the body and out of the mind so that the body also relax, relaxes, just a natural response. And that's one of the reasons why we feel so great when we finish the practice. Okay, so let's transition over to the right side. Right arm on the ground, maybe on a block, okay, if that's not possible for you. And those that are almost at the feet, you want to just be flipping your hand so that your pinky finger is up, index finger is down. And then I'm just opening my torso and looking upwards. And as I inhale, stretch the left arm up and out. So one day maybe I'm able to kind of grab my foot. I'm, I'm able to touch it, but you don't want to do that if, if it's making you stay sort of collapsed inwards. So I prefer that you have an open chest and your arm a little bit higher but that you're doing the posture in the right way. Where can we relax here? So we're breathing with our chest going upward. Exhaling, just letting the torso fall towards the right side. And to come out of the posture, let's roll forward and walk our hands back. Very good. Bring the right knee forward. Extend the right leg. You can just go back onto the long edge of your mat. Last posture, we're just going to be working our hips and our shoulders. So walk your hands back about a forearm distance, fingers facing towards your hips. We're going to be working into a reverse tabletop, so make sure that your shoulders are back, feet parallel, inhale, and as you exhale, lift the hips up as high as you can. Push through your torso, look up, breathe. Stay here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Take a nice big inhale, push the chest up, hips up, and exhale. Come back down onto the seat and lay down on your back. Very good. Okay, final posture on the ground, spine twisting, the dessert of the class. <laughs> so if you want to just shift your hips to the right and then cross your right leg completely over your left leg and see if you can maybe grab hook up your left leg with your right toes. Keep your arms parallel so that your wrists are in line with your shoulders. Inhale, bring the knees in. And as you exhale, let the legs fall over to the left. Look to your right. So priority here is to keep both shoulders on the mat.
inhale, bring the knees back up to center, uncross the legs. This time, just bring your hips towards the left side of your mat a little bit. Cross your left leg over your right and try to make a hook if you can. Hooking your right leg with your left toes. Inhale, bring the knees in. And as you exhale, let the knees fall over to the right side. Looking to your left this time. Try to keep both shoulders on the mat. As you inhale, bring the knees back up to center, uncross the legs. You can bring both of your knees in. Give yourself a nice hug. If you'd like also, you can roll up, try to touch your forehead onto your knees. And as you exhale, lie down on your back. Make sure you Push yourself forward towards the top of your mat to make sure that your shoulder blades are as far away as possible from your ears, nice and relaxed. Let your arms fall to the side of your body. Feet two feet apart. Close your eyes. Shavasana. Release completely. From here, just start by moving your toes, your fingers. Take a nice inhale. I feel like exhaling through the mouth. You can do that. And gently come back into seating position, but by just rolling on your right side, taking a pause here. And then coming into seating position. I hope you enjoyed the class, everybody. It was a challenging class today. It was my pleasure guiding practice. Um, press like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me any questions you may have, comments. And uh, we'll see each other next week on the mat. And from now until then, you can follow me on Instagram. And uh, that's it. Take care, everybody. Namaste.